Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech Classes. So in the previous video, we have studied about what is data and what are the difference between data and the information. So, so let's understand types of data that is divided into categorical data and numerical data. We can also say categorical data as qualitative data, qualitative data and the numerical data as quantitative data. Now categorical data are the data that are non-numerical, non-numerical. So all the data that is non-numerical are called categorical data. So you can say that all the data that is present in the form of character or strings will be called as categorical data. For example, let's say example, color of the eyes. For example, color of the eyes. So suppose if you have the data in which there is a column name color of the eyes and it contains green, blue, black, brown, these kind of values in that column. So that will be a categorical data. Now talking about the numerical data, these data are numerical in nature. So all the data that is present in the numerical form are called numerical data and also called quantitative data. For example, price, age, or you can say that sales. So this type of data will contain integer value or float values. So this will be called as a numerical data. So I hope you understand categorical data and numerical data. Simply if any column contains string values or character values, then it will be called as a categorical data. And if it contains number, then it will be called as a numerical data or qualitative quantitative data. So let's understand types of data on the basis of structure. Data is divided into structured and unstructured. So talking about the structured data, these are the data that contains the fixed format. So it has the fixed format. Whereas in unstructured data, it does not have, not have a fixed format. So simply it means structured data means the data will be present in the form of a structured format, fixed format means if we have a data of fruit names and suppose their price. If we make a table of fruit name and price name and price then now all the data goes into the price column and all the name will be goes into the fruits name. That's how a structured data looks like. For if you talk about the example of the structured data, then it can be a spreadsheet. So if you have seen the spreadsheet or an Excel file, then you have seen we have some column names and the data will be present in the form of row and column. So it will be a tabular format data. Or you can say that relational database. Now in relational database, if you have heard about the SQL, now in relational database, we first specify the schema of the database that our database contain which columns and what are the names of the columns. And then we start inserting the data into their respective columns. So that will be a very good example of the structured data. Now talking about the unstructured data, example of these are images, videos, videos, audios or also text so these are the examples of the unstructured data now i hope you understood the data based on the structured and unstructured so there is also a data called a big data so let's understand what a big data is so big data big data the name suggests data that is big in nature so the large amount of data large amount of data will be called as a big data means the data that is in the range of petabyte or higher petabyte or higher in range so if the size of the data will be in the petabyte or higher than the petabyte then that data will be called as a big data so analysis on the big data is somewhat different from the analysis on the normal data I have made a playlist on the big data analytics in which I have covered the theory part of the big data analytics and also I have explained big data in more detail. So I, so I will give the link to that video into the description box and you can check from there what exactly a big data is. I have explained that in more detail.